In 2001, the Galactic Senate roundly opposed the attack on Pluto as, uh, as a, a, a needless aggression against the people. <laughs> <laughs> true, true fact. Oh, in 2001. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's also a true fact. <laughs> to build up with my esteemed colleague Marlon about pins, uh, there, was, there was such a, a, a demand for pins that there was actually this one guy named Chester Pinfield uh, who had collected a bunch of pins and he became extravagantly wealthy from the sale of pins. <laughs> to build up my colleague uh, Jared's point about cell fame becoming uh, popular, uh, ERs uh, were subsequently uh, filled with people just cutting their finger on that spiky part of the cellophane and taking it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> to go off of my esteemed colleague Kat, uh, Katie's point about our sweetheart, <laughs> there was uh, a controversy that many people did not know. They did not let him um, initially bring in his massive ant farm into the White House. <laughs> <laughs> in 2001, uh, a group of Islamic terrorists. Took <laughs> classes uh, and uh, learned how to fly planes. <laughs> they infiltrated American Airlines flight. Now we know this. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to build on my esteemed colleague Dave's point from earlier about all the meat consumed on Labor Day, um, <laughs> it was hot dogs, beef, turkey, <laughs> every kind of meat imaginable through the roof sales wise that year. <laughs> New York was a battleground. <laughs> Uh, year 2001, uh, the year of uh, no ant farms, man. 
2001, a year where a nation came together. Okay.
recording the audio and maybe using <laughs> the, the, the web. Hmm? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think it just came with a good idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Feel like a woman. Oh no. Okay. Well, now, now I'm embarrassed. Now I'm embarrassed. Now I'm embar now I'm I'm the one who feels like I have a messed up prostate. You have blood in your No, that's that's you and I was saying I was feeling more embarrassed than you. But when you just said it out loud, I'm now They've now made us wrap our hands in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the silk is doing. <laughs> 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 it's just <Yeah>. not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't even slipping around the little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even help the patients that we're supposed to help. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Inject them with with the saran wrap. Inject them with saran wrap. Yeah. Like fire with fire. In their veins. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> Think. Competition. Get through your head. I mean, I mean, scientifically, I'm not sure how that could work, but we can make it work. All right. All I can listen. All I care about is getting back those assholes, okay, who are making our jobs so much harder. Fucking terrorists at Saran Rap Headquarters. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. And I'm so we can use that term lightly. Yes. <laughs> Nothing. 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 Nothing's gonna happen. We're America! America! We are Ooh. strong! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck that. You know what? What? Let's go in there. Kick that door. <laughs> We're just going to leave the patient. Oh, it's that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John Stone family. Elephant in the room. It's Thanksgiving of 2011. <laughs> but we don't need to talk about any of that stuff. We're here to celebrate Thanksgiving, right? We're here to talk about what we're thankful for, right? I don't think we need to bring up anything else, even though it is Thanksgiving. 2011. <laughs> the uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah. Who was that, Jared? Uh, no. Leave that chair. Jared. You're not able to recover his body. That space should be open to remind us. I am loving college. <laughs> Great McAllister. Wow, that was a real reach, but we're glad you made it. <laughs> I feel like my roommate is a great match for me. Like, we're different, but we have enough in common where, like, we can go to the dining hall. And, like, we might have something to talk about almost every meal. <laughs> you know, we can't lesson. have any meals anymore. <laughs> I feel like I was pretty clear about what I wanted at the beginning of this. <laughs> I feel like I was pretty clear. I feel like we there, you know, obviously, all right, there not all of us could be here this Thanksgiving, but I, I think that we're really we're just here, you know, to be thankful for what we do have. You know? Hey! We haven't said grave yet. <laughs> That's a great point, uh, Danny. Um, I said it in my head. <laughs> uh, would you like to start us off? 
Jerry or... No, Jerry's dead, Jerry. Oh. <laughs> he used to do it all the time. Someone say truth. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, uh, at this point, uh, you can rise up uh, and uh, ask me uh, any sort of truth you want uh, at all. It's really great to have all of you here. Uh, again, uh, it's uh, it's neat to have kind of one person from every single country uh, kind of representing themselves. <laughs> Many United Nations here. Uh, actually, many of you are members of the UN, and that's much appreciated. I'm sorry to interrupt. What? I, I said I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm from another country. <laughs> In my country, we ask a person through the dead, and they say through the dead, it's they the person has the agency to choose through the dead. <laughs> You know, you know what the most disappointing uh, point of all this is? Is that I already gave out the nickname Chatty. I know it's good, it's the best. 
sweet lamb, slowly cooked, roast, braised, shredded, <laughs> with sweet taco. You put some consomme made out of the same lamb broth they're cooked in. Then you eat all together with a little bit of guacamole. It's a sweet delight. How am I not supposed to be happy? I don't know. I love lamb! I love my candle! I love shooto! And I'm gonna say it like that too! Hey, buddy, were you not here for the last year? I'm sorry, fireman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a fireman. Alright. I, I wasn't on duty, I was on vacation. <laughs> here to try an assortment of meats. <laughs> Who has an assortment of meats for sample? Thank you. Thank you service. I told you I wasn't there. <laughs> In 2001, Steve Jobs could not walk down the street without people having big ideas for the next big thing. <laughs> yo, Steve! Yo, 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 Steve! Steve, yo, how about uh, one electronic that can uh, uh, maybe uh, test how erect your penis is? <laughs> right? What? No. Ah, no. Maybe just like one that's like smaller, but if you shake it, then the song changes. Please, I'm just trying to. <laughs> Oh, but what if it's, uh, <laughs> what if you can call your family and friends and then tell them that you're not your friends anymore? Oh, but what if, it, what if it's like a toothbrush that can also be like a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve, Steve, go ahead. Hey, how about one that's like just like an iPad, but it's, it's like shitty? You can call it the zoo. Why don't you be able to pay me more? For God's sakes, I'm dying! Okay? For God's sakes, I gave you the, the iPhone! I gave you the iPod! I gave you the iPad! What the fuck else do you want from me? Wait, 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 what's an iPad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thing to happen all year. All yeah. year. All year. <laughs> February 2nd, 2001. Uh, if something worse happens in this, I'm gonna kill myself. It feels like <laughs> don't do that. The year <laughs> we are gathered here today <laughs> to celebrate the life of Kathleen Hannigan. <laughs> <laughs> she was a woman of her word. She was a person of conviction, and I think that we're all just so sad that she, to see her go. She always said she would kill herself if things got worse in 2001. And then she went to take a trip to New York. <laughs> And could not find a barbecue, and he Because of her inability to find a barbecue, she ended her own life. She hand wrapped herself. Can I say a few words? I'm her husband, Jerry. Jerry <laughs> 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 Dearly beloved. <laughs> In 2001, Chester Pinfield was invited to a ball at the White House. <laughs> oh, good evening, Mr. President. 
Don't mind me and all my many flag pins. I'm sure you're very impressed. My name is Chester Pinfield. Of course, I'm your biggest donor, so you should know that. Good to see you, good to see you with me. Would anyone like a pin? <laughs> From your person. Oh, yes! From the personal collection, it's one of the many benefits of getting to meet me, Charles Pinfield. Charles, for a second I thought you were wearing a shield, but I understand it just... Uh, Indeed, it good lady, it doubles. <laughs> Free pin? Indeed, one for you, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Courtesy of me. Chester Pinfield! Hey, Chester, are you British? <laughs> <laughs> Never once in all my years would I think that I would have my patriotism questioned whilst being literally covered from head to toe in nothing but American flag pins. Sir, no, I'm not British. Well, you're holding a Tiny teacup. <laughs> oh, so you're a strong Uh, 